In a very significant development, the Indian Navy has started the discussion with the Aeronautical Development Agency for the development of a carrier-based autonomous stealthy unmanned combat air vehicle that can operate from aircraft carriers. Special studies and development funds will be required to prove that the unmanned aircraft could safely launch and be recovered from an aircraft carrier, for which a new program could be initiated, that will be independent of the Indian Air Force's unmanned combat air vehicle program. The Navy is looking to operate unmanned combat air vehicles that can carry out combat aerial patrol at the outer parameter of a carrier strike group with onboard air-to-air -air missiles, that can take down hostile manned and unmanned targets at standoff range if they try to breach the outer perimeter, while the inner perimeter will be guarded by manned fighter jets that will operate as a command post to this unmanned combat air vehicle. Hindustan Aeronautics is working to appoint a marketing agent for international business in Nigeria, that will enable the marketing and promoting sales of HAL-built military and civilian helicopters trainer aircraft and Tejas light combat aircraft. Other products like helicopter engines avionics radars and ground and ship bond systems, as well as repair overhaul and servicing of aircraft and helicopters. The marketing agent in Nigeria will help to expand HAL's presence in the country, and provide insight about the local market, and interact with the decision makers, and represent HAL effectively for business generation and growth in Nigeria on a sustained basis. Nigeria had expressed interest in the HAL-built light combat helicopter, and HAL has already started flying training of Nigerian Army aviation pilots at the company's Rotary Wing Academy. The Aeronautical Development Agency is looking for a private sector firm for the transfer of technology of actuators for the Tejas Mark II fighter jet, that will produce and deliver the actuators for the upcoming 17.5-ton class single-engine fighter jet. An actuator is a device that helps to achieve physical movements by converting energy into mechanical force, and they are used to control and limit velocity and engine speed by adjusting levers and flaps of the aircraft. The rollout of the Tejas Mark II was planned in August 2022, but recently HAL chief had stated that the first prototype will now be ready by December 2022, which means that there is a delay of hardly three to four months. The RDO's aeronautical development establishment will soon start the production of six Rustam II unmanned aerial vehicles, that will be delivered to the three armed services for user trials. After the successful completion of user trials, the indigenous medium altitude long endurance will enter mass production. The Rustam 2 is very close to complete its development cycle, and the aeronautical development establishment has already started looking at private sector companies for the production of subsystems and components that will be finally integrated by Hindustan Aeronautics. The RDO's Instrument Research and Development Institute has received the hyperspectral imaging payload system developed by a private sector firm under the project Unvesa, which is a tier 1 project led by the RDO that will be launched by the ISRO. The hyperspectral imaging payload system will be installed on two satellites placed at an altitude of about 500 km, that will give the armed forces the capability to clearly identify two different targets standing at a distance of about 12 meters from each other, that will help to destroy targets with relative ease and very high precision. Russian media has reported, that the mass production of the upgraded version of the Su-57 fighter jet under the Megapolis Research and Development Project is expected to begin in 2025, that will come equipped with a completely upgraded cockpit advanced avionics and second stage engines. The Russian Air Force will receive 24 Su-57 fighter jets by the end of 2024, and the number will grow to 76 by 2028. In a strong signal to China, Australia's special trade envoy Tony Abbott has said, that a free trade agreement between India and Australia would be an important sign of the democratic world's tilt away from China. 
He also said that China is becoming more belligerent almost by the day, and it's in everyone's interest that India take its rightful place among the nations as quickly as possible. He also stressed that Australia needs to drastically move away from China, and India is a natural partner to Australia.